Welcome to Backyard Woodworking. This is part three of making a simple shop stool. Uh, last time we left off, I had the uh, top glued up in the clamps, and we made the uh, circle cutting jig here underneath. Now what I did is, uh, on the other side, corner to corner measurements, found the center, and the size of my nail was uh, about an eighth of an inch around, so I took a one-eighth bit, drilled a hole about, oh, half inch, five eighths deep in the bottom side here, and uh, that lets it spin. Now you can see the side here, it just rests against the blade, and so what we're going to do is take corners. Don't have to be exact anywhere. We're going to run it through and keep filing it down basically what you're doing is just kind of like knocking off a little bit at a time all the way around until you get a, a fairly round shape. Okay, what well, I'm going to have to do is uh, shut my uh, camera down now because when I hit the saw and because of the power in this place uh, it tends to blink the camera out. So after I get the saw up and running, uh, I'll turn the camera back on and I'll show you how this works. I'm going to have to shut the saw down, uh, and then I'll do it again. Uh, this is going to kill the camera.
can see here, I got pretty much round. You get the general idea. I'll finish the rest without the, the filaming of it. You got enough of the general idea how it works. And uh, be careful when you do this. Okay, one round stool seat. You see there next to the blade, just spins. Okay, you take this off, and you can see the edges. It's round. Bottom of the seat, you got a little hole. Who cares? And never going to see it anyway. Next uh, job for this will be putting the some edges on this, rounding these over, because uh, who wants to sit have the leg hit that sharp edge? So I'm going to take, a, I'll probably use a 3 8 round over bit and uh, run it through there, both sides, and round these edges out. And uh, we'll do that, and uh, the seat will be done, and the next step will be assembly. Now see, I left a little edge on it here. I can sand that down or leave it. It looks kind of nice. And I don't think it'll interfere with your sitting. And there it is. One seat. Okay, we're going to get some uh, assembly started now. And... I think I'm going to use for the top ones, this is a piece of scrap. Uh, for these top stretchers, I'm going to use Craig joints. Now, this is the Craig jig. I bought this oh, a year or so ago, two years ago, whatever it was. And 
My screws are a little too long, for this wood isn't quite an inch and a half anymore because we ran it through the planer and get rid of the junk. But, if you'll notice, the screw doesn't make it through, which is what I'm looking for. Now, these screws I have are uh, two and a half inch. I would have been better with twos, but what I did, I took the collar in this bit and, and stepped it down further than what the jig says to set it at. That sets the hole so it doesn't quite dig in as quite as deep. And by experimenting, I found out that I got the right setup here for the thickness of my wood. Now, these are going to be right under the seat. So, one seat will be sitting like this underneath there at an angle. Well, on the, on the inside here, you're not going to be able to see that. So that's a good place for these, because as you can see, they leave a, a nice hole to fill. And uh, they come with plugs. You can plug them, glue a plug in there, a wooden plug. You can get them in pine or oak or whatever, different, they make plastic plugs. And I really like it. I built this table here, it's built out of Craig joints, used, put these, uh, corner pieces together. The whole thing just glued and screwed with the Craig joints, basically. All these little tables I made for everything. Planer, drill press, workbench. It's all Craig joints. A little bit of glue and, uh, and, and the screws, and boy, you got something rock solid. It ain't going nowhere. And uh, I love them. I mean, uh, for certain things, the only downside is uh, they leave a hole. So you got to put them where you can't see them. If, other than that, you use a conventional joint, whether it be, uh, you could use a biscuit or a dowel, where they're hidden, you don't see them when it's glued, or a mortise and tenon or something of that nature. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. You take this, the, the high part of the angle is going to be facing inside because the legs splay out like that, so this is level. So this is my inside. Always put the inside to the jig. Now. I can put this right near the edge here and then move this over so I can drill these close to the edges. That way, because when the next leg comes in uh, this way, well, they're actually going to be like this inside to inside. When, when the other side's in like this, with the leg in between, I, I, miss, I miss the screw. You see what I mean? Because if I'm going to screw in from the outside of the leg, or, you know, in the inside here, your screw's coming this way, screw's going in this way, so you can't put them in the same spot. So put, like, two screws in the middle is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get, like, say, two here on the outside. And then come inside that and put two here. And when I glue that to the leg and screw them together, that baby ain't going nowhere. Believe me. I built a lot of... Uh, stuff with that with a good glue and that and the screws act as clamps once once the glue dries it's it's a done deal to begin with so that's what we're going to do now to do this take the always get your angle the high part of this angle is going to be facing this way so it's level so that's the inside piece I'm going to put this in my jig line it up with the little marks on the top and I can figure this is darn near flush. That'll be a, a guide for me for my next hole. And there's the hole. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I can get that line just about with flush. And that makes a pretty good one for this one. If you do mess up, you'll have to make another piece, that's all I can say. Now I do the same thing here. Put one here on this side. You're just reversing, that's all. This can go in a ways here. That'll give me a little more room. Yeah, I like that a little better. Now 
Now see, now these are going to be like so. So, this piece here, will be like this. Bing, 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 bing. I don't know if you can see this. But the screws will go in on the inside here. The seat will be on top. You'll never see these. And if I wanted to, I could fill these. You could use wood filler, but or or the plugs. The plugs is a lot easier. You can there's even a gizmo. You can make these plugs. So that's what we're going to do. I side in. And that's going to be flush there. about ready to uh, start a little bit of assembly here. I got a piece laying on the bench. We're going to screw the top section in on, on two of the sides and then we can work on uh, the center section here, uh, the bottom rail. I got the top rail and the bottom rail to put in on each leg and they got to be the same distance down or it would look kind of stupid if we up there. Each one was a different height. So what we're going to do here is get the top ones in and get them tight. That'll set the angle. Then we'll slide the, the other ones up. They're all the same angle. They're all cut the same. So they got to be identical. And uh, what we'll do is get them uh, uh, situated there. Then I can measure down from the top or up from the bottom because the legs are all identical too. And get everything set so we have a good straight uh, stool here. Now I have this, this here and uh, set it to, at the proper angle and also everything is just flush. Now we're going to put a little glue on it and do it and I'll show you how I do it and uh, I'll have to tilt the camera down so you can see the table. Let me take a little good old-fashioned wood glue here and what we're going to do is go like this and we need to put a little, I put a little mark on this one and we're going to put some on here I'll try to be halfway decent about this but Never seems to work that way. Now this is end grain. End grain is going to soak up glue. So I like to get a coat on here. And get that sit in a second. Now here. I got this one tilted up here. So I got a little line. But I did. I put the project up. Uh, this brace just a little hot over top of flush so I can go like that and get that nice and coated here and I can take this leg and what we're going to do is have the same thing here and I hope I'm doing this right yep that's the way I want them, and we get the glue about the same distance here, now before we, uh, my video uh, ran out on the camera there, because it doesn't have too long a memory, uh, let's get it fixed, next week I'll have a, I ordered a chip for it, it should fix the problem. Now, what I need to do 
as that sat a little bit, I'm going to put a little bit more on it, because that soaks in. I'm going to let this nice here. Now, i got to get this like this. And that's going to make a nice joint. Now, what I'm going to do is take a clamp, and I'll show you how I do this. I am going to just put this up on its edge, plus this, and take my Craig clamp and snap that in. Now, I just want to make sure it's flush. That's flush there. You see how I got that? That's flush. I can take a screw. Now when you're using this, this is an impact driver. This has a little more guts. I'm going to put one right in here than your typical now I just want to make sure I get this down tight. Like that. Now these screws, this is old pressure treated. I remember I made this project out of what I had laying around. So I'm using coated screws. Now, mm, that clamp is tight. There we go. Now, I got a little bit of here and there. Now I just take my drill and make sure. Nice joint. Now I'm going to take glue. And we're going to do the same again on here. That way that glue's tacked up good. And we're going to have the same affair. Like this. Now I also have a, an angle clamp that I could use with this. I get this pretty flat. That's my whole idea. So what I'm going to do, same thing, is get this like this. Makes a little bit of a mess, that's the problem. Well, it's another day, and uh, I've been busy. I glued this one up here. This is just glue. Now, what I did with a is take uh, a square. Oh yeah, which I left over there. And basically, what I did is is kind of measure down on these uh, you know legs here, so I'd be close. You know, see that's pretty darn close there. And uh, this one seems like it might have slid up. I don't know. I hope it didn't. It did a little bit. Oh well. Apparently, much I could do about that. But at any rate, I got this set up and glued there. I just cut a couple of blocks the same, put an angle on the one end, the same as the leg angle, of seven degrees, and then square on the other. That way I could get a, a pushing, uh, a clamping action here. I'm going to take these clamps off. And... Uh, Glue ain't done yet, but I'm going to put screws in here. What I'm going to do is take my drill here.
and we're going to take this bit here now I got a piece of tape so I don't go too deep because I'm going to countersink these so I'm going to get close to the edge here and straight so I go straight in and what I'm going to do is just like that and do the same here like that the reason I'm using this because I'm using a deck screw because this was pressure treated remember I stole these pieces somewhere somewhere but it doesn't matter What I'm doing here is just going to put I got some plugs that will fit in there. Take this out. Get it up the side. This will be uh, sawdust out in the center of the hole this will be for my countersink and, and my, my uh, pilot hole so I don't split nothing better to be safe than sorry I doubt if I would anyway see what it's going to look like. Kind of hard holding all this together here just to show you, but you get the general idea. If I get the drill out of the way, it might be a little easier. Now we're going to take this piece here and this piece here. And basically, that's kind of like the shape you're going to get. It'll splay out in all four directions equally. And there you go. Now what I'm going to do is just take uh, a hole drill here, put a little glue here and here, and I have a clamp for this. Pocket hole clamp. It fits in the hole and allow me to clamp the other piece together. So like this. This clamp will fit in the hole. And all I do is just adjust the clamp to fit. It might be a little difficult with the angle, but we'll see if we can get it to go. If not, I'll lay it down and do it. There's more than one way to get a cat. And there we go. So I just wanted to show you how that, so what I'm going to do is start glue up the uprights here, both sides, and the bottoms. 
put this on the same way as I did uh, this one. Just match them. That's all I got to do is match to here now. And uh, we'll be done. And we'll have a stool. And then that's, what I'm going to do is uh, sand all this down real well in here. It doesn't, you're not going to see it anyway, so I'm not too particular with it, but I want it, the outsides, I can get it any time. But the inside, I'm going to give it another quick sand, any boo-boos I say, and we'll take it from there.